And it's cool, creative Colin talking to the notoriously noble Nigel and the astonishing, astounding audience. Uh, I, I'm an artist. I like to call myself an artist. I think it's a privilege to be an artist, a right to be an artist, and the best thing in the world to be an artist. Can you talk a little bit about your art in general? Well, art, art is about the imagination. And the first split uh, between the imagination and the practical occurred with the Industrial Revolution. With the Industrial Revolution, the worker was shut, all his input was sort of like thrown away, and he became part of the machine, a cog required to keep the machine going. And the first time schizophrenia was diagnosed was in the 19th century with that split between the imagination and the practical. We need both. We need our imagination as well as our practical, skillful aspects, and that's the nobility of work, to bring your whole being to what you do. Would you say that our beat has, has been a, a, a help for you in well, the one thing I think that's the greatest help about Art Beat is that you have people who um, kind of know what you've gone through, like uh, fellow uh, artists. The thing about Art Beat is that you have a community of uh, people who've been to the psych ward, often they're on medication, and they are creative, and they are imaginative, and you have you're a peer group, which is the modern state of being for a lot of artists. But we got here through our beat, and our beat is a good example. There are other ways to, that you can do it, where you got a support, a network, and a support group that assists you in channeling your imagination to creative ways. Yeah. And the thing about me is. Uh, if I don't apply my imagination creatively to something productive and make a contribution, then my imagination attacks me. So in other words, if I don't have an outlet for my imagination, don't utilize it, I'll end up crazy on, on medication, abusing it, and a suicide statistic. I drew from nature. I didn't photograph nature, take it to my inside and copy it. I was actually outside. This is a winter scene, it was a mild winter day, zero below, one below, two below, maybe one above, I'm not sure, but it's hovering around there. The, I used the rectangle to illustrate the changing light of two different times of the day, sunny and cloudy. Well, do you want to uh, lead us out? Lead us out. Lead us out. <laughs> okay, well, I'll lead you out. <laughs> well, onward, 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 onward. 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 <laughs>